Hello everyone, my name's Hillier2 and welcome back to my Let's Play uh, of Victoria 2 with the HBM mod with Italy. Yes, so in the last episode, as you can see, we pushed into France for, I will not say the last time, but basically for the last time, um, we've taken over Sardinia and Corsica and Languedoc, making the northern Mediterranean 100% Italian. And yeah, you'd be like, oh, the satellites aren't part of your country. Yes, they are. That's what a satellite... They just have a lot of autonomy, basically. That's what it is. Anyway, so, what will we be doing now? Well, we still need to take over uh, Cyprus, Malta, Gibraltar, this tiny, tiny little Gibraltar. And, of course, the rest of French Africa, or at least uh, Morocco and Algeria. Uh, basically, all we need is mass politics, and then we could get the Dismantled Nation, Cassis Belli, and use that on France. And, of course, there's the UK. The UK with 97 ships and 17 naval tech. They are scary. I do not like them. Problem is, I have zero ships. Like, naval scary naval ships. We need to focus more on naval tech now. We need to get blue and brown water stuff. But anyways, let's continue on. So uh, a lot of you are like, oh, Puppet Romania. It's like, eh, I don't really care for it all that much. I mean, they have a lot of cores all over the place. I can get them to eat Banat. It's actually not Banat. They are allied with the Germanies. With the Germany? With Germany. And, uh... Well, we'd also have to attack Russia, and that brings in the UK, and it's like, ugh, they're annoying. I'm surprised Germany actually turned back into Germany. Alright, Finland, um, I don't really care much for you, so I'm going to ignore you. Sorry. Sucks to suck. Alright, and we have up to five focus points now. That is amazing. And just to check around... Everyone, everyone is indeed back in Italy. So what do we need? We need artillery, artillery, uh, a hussar, and hussar. So two hussars and artillery. Good. That should be good enough to get. How's Africa? You guys are nice and spread out, I hope. Hopefully, I don't know, maybe. All right, now we can go back to naval tech and get blue and brown water schools. Should be good enough. Terrorist cells. Oh, boy. All right, you know what? Let's expand these naval bases. A little bit more. Get them up to level 3. Then once we, once we have level 3, because that's still going to take a couple of years. Year and a half, I guess. Oh, that sucks. It sucks how long it takes just to create one naval base. But once I get dreadnoughts, then I can start, you know, focusing on... You know, Britain. Because Britain is really the only one I need um, ships for. Oh, and the Dutch Nedged became a uh, puppet. Good for them. A satellite, actually. Not a Dominion. Oddly enough, Turkey is a Dominion, but the Nedged Emirate is a satellite of the Dutch. That, I don't understand what the difference between a satellite and a Dominion is. I need to look that up. But yeah, I mean, look, look, look at this way, right, guys? So, all of these lands are satellites or dominions. The British Empire has Canada and Australia and New Zealand and India. And those are all technically part of the British Empire. Right? They just have higher autonomy. So, same thing. And, you know, the Romans couldn't control everything. They just controlled whatever lands, you know, that they could. Which was mostly, hell, they could only really control... Rome, Rome, not even uh, Northern Italy and stuff. They had to leave that for autonomy. So it's just autonomy. It's all it is. We are the Roman Empire. Or at the very least, the closest thing you can get to the Roman Empire. Uh, where's our navy? Oh, it's all the way out here. Right. I forgot about um, Crete. It's a very important area. Not really. Uh, we're going to help them out by getting... Ooh, anarchic bomb throwers. Yay. Not getting those, no. By getting these guys to take back the Balearic Islands. Because uh, Spain can't be bothered to do it on their own. The fuckers. Alright, get them up there. Do we have our troops? Yes, we do. Alright, split in half and split in half. 
You, my friend, go over there, and then you two go there, and nope, I'm sorry, wrong one, this one, and go there. There we have it. We have 23 armies yet again, finally. Group you up. Group you up. Thank God for these uh, railroads. They're making them uh, real quick. We look at it. Yeah, everyone has level 4 railroads. Oh my God, amazing. And yeah, everyone in um, this area as well. We could actually help them a little bit. What is this? Romania wants an alliance? That's not, no, I'm sorry, that's not Romania. It's Colombia? What the fuck does Colombia want an alliance? No. That's useless to me. It's probably going to drag me into a war I don't care about. Hmm. What do we have here? We have French communists. So have they succeeded in this area? No. Hmm. Odd. As everywhere else. So the British. It looks as though, yeah, the Congo got taken over by the British. Good for them. It's always good for them. They only have 92 um, million people. We have 31 million. So puts into perspective uh, how powerful we are. It's very, very powerful. The Republic of Ezo is just never going to get reunified, is it? Sad. Kingdom of Joseon. French Asia. Oh, gas defense. Thank God. So do we have gas attack? Yes, we have gas attack and gas defense. So that means we're bordering a country that has gas attack. That could be Germany or France. I honestly don't know. What's your tech at, France? Only 21. Okay. All right. And so when we do inevitably declare war on France to dismantle their empire. Ooh, oh, French communists have taken over Paris. Oh, thank God. Uh, but when we do declare war to dismantle their empire, we will not be breaking in Germany or anyone else. Because whoever has a truce with them will gain territory. So, I want to have the least amount of people with truces. And there you have it. France is a proletarian dictatorship. Yeah, I can say that they are no longer even a threat to us in a great power status. And we're right behind America. But once we have that navy going, we should be fine. Should be. But no promises. How many capitalists do we have? Oh, about 5,000. That's good. A 10 hour workday. See, we're a very socially progressive nation. Everyone loves us, as they should. Excellent. So, wh where do we have crises? We have no crises going on? Good. Some in Poland. But who cares about Poland? It's it's Poland. No one cares about Poland. Sardinian Corsica integration? Well, I mean... The, we already have cores here, but... Except for Corsica. You know, we're going to leave it be. It has enough landowners and a lot of North Italian culture, so it should be all right. It should be all right. No promises. Um, and yeah, oh, fascism is growing slightly. I will not uh, become fascist. Well, at least I'll try not to become fascist. If it does happen, then it happens. But uh, so can I even become fascist? No. Hmm. Whatever. What can we do now? Uh, reform the Italian colonial army. I actually like that. Naval logistics. What do we need for that? Right here. Eh, we can go for it. If you guys... Uh, well, actually... That's just the animist people. We have a lot of Catholics. Look at the Kano. Oh, Benin. Yeah, lots of Catholics in our area. Good. Uh, you know, might as well. More supply range always helps. And it is very low in technology. So, you know. Uh, Netherlands weird you guys can ally to two different people two different great powers okay uh brazil you know we'll we'll take you we'll take you in you know what let's influence you why not you guys uh are gonna love us i guarantee it all right everyone else be a lower priority because we already have you under our sphere sweet in fact i'm pretty sure no one else is going to influence any of our puppets because it's just too easy for us to influence them you know when does our truce end with uh, France? 1907. All right, and we'll wait until then. Roman anarcho-liberals. Yes, Roman anarcho-liberals, I'd like to point out. Roman anarcho-liberals. No, let me say that again. Romans. See, we're Romans. Not just Italians. Not just Pope face. 
No, Roman. Roman. Anyways, so uh, we're going to keep going down na uh, to get naval logistics. So we can do systematic extermination if we wanted to. Oh, what the fuck? The Convention Concerning the Exchange of Italian and Turkish Populations. What is this? With the, in with the intervention of the League of Nations, we might be able to broker a deal to settle, settle our borders, our disputes, and our populations with the Turks. The Turkish government represents representatives say that the Ameliora amelioration of the lot of the minorities in Turkey depended depended above all el ab above all on the exclusion of the very kind of foreign intervention and the possibility of provocation coming from outside. This could be achieved to them. Okay, what the fuck does this do? An exchange could also be useful as a response to violence in the Balkans. There were, in any event, over a million Turks without food or shelter in countries in which neither Europe nor America took nor was the um nor was willing to take any interest the population exchange is seen as the best form of minority protection as well as the most radical and humane remedy of all so what the fuck does that do if i click on it what happens uh turkey at peace fear rebels and one uh one of the following must be true all the following must be true with thessalia owned by italy Southern Macedonia owned by Italy. Well, we can't do that, so it doesn't matter. Either way, I have no idea what the fuck that means. What is that like? Do you have cores on me or something? No, you own all of your cores. In fact, you own a little bit more than just your cores. Oh, Gonder, hello. And Kaffa, hello. How's it going? Alright, and the Empire Brazil. Let's become cordial. Cordiale. So, if we look around, can we do Dismantle Nation? We cannot do Dismantle Nation, at least on the United Kingdom. Uh, Austria-Hungary? Free Allied Corps. Hmm. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Big revolution. Big, big revolution. What is this? Frenchies? Uh-oh. Is that French uh, patriots? Yep. Well, I will say good job on you, France. You guys aren't going to be bitches in this, are you? <laughs> Either way, you lose. Gas attack. It's a bitch. All right, and you're all dead. Good, and that means less French are under us. We seriously just slaughtered hundreds of thousands of Frenchmen. I'm proud of it. I'm not. I'm sorry if you're French. Uh, fun times, fun times. You know, lots of Frenchies here. They're not going to be quick to integration. Ooh, ooh, Egyptians? Are these Egyptians? Yep, Egyptian nationalists. Getting some uh, nationalism, huh? All right, all right. Cute, cute. Don't worry, we'll put you down eventually. Go ahead. Slaughter the masses. It'll be fun. Target practice. I believe that also gives them... um. Experience. So that's good. Whoa, 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 whoa. Sweden, a war to end all wars. Excellent. Add even more war, war goals. Awesome. Alright, do not let them... Do not allow them to take Cairo. It's a very bad idea. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Alliance is at the wazoo here. Japan, Russia. You know what? I'd rather have Russia. Oh, shit, Germany. There you go. Germany, why wouldn't you do... That would be a stupid idea, Germany. Um, no one wants to ally with France. That's good with me. They will not accept an alliance. Well, you will now. Sorry. Yeah. What you gonna do about it? What you gonna do? Um, so they've moved their capital, right? To Moscow. Yeah, and Moscow is nice and safe. What are these? Communists? Reactionaries. Ah. So they want to become a... Absolute monarchy, actually. If the uh, reactionaries win during a um, presidential dictatorship, they become a kingdom. An absolute monarchy. And, oh, that'll be really funny to see the Tsar pop back up. Very funny, actually. All right, you guys. Are you guys done down here? Or do we have any more rebellions we have to deal with? It's kind of ridiculous at this point, guys. You guys simply aren't going to be free. You know you aren't. Get over it. Get over it. 
All right, naval organization, good. With naval logistics, we might actually stand a chance. So, navies, we can build monitors and ironclads now. So now we can start expanding to level four. With all this money too, it uh, really helps. <laughs> so I think we had a um a naval base in Corsica, not Corsica, um Sardinia, but it got destroyed because Corsica had a better one <laughs> when we conquered that one. All right, all the and all these level fours. I believe level four is required to build battleships. Now, level 4 creates battleships. Level 5 creates dreadnoughts. Which is why we want level 5. I keep getting bigger, better, stronger, faster. Just just bigger, honestly. Just the, the bigger the naval base, the better. Look at all these Turks helping out. How cute. Oh. And Belgian communists down in um, Ethiopia. That means they might, uh, they might, they might retake their land. No, oh, Wow, that is a lot of British. See, this is why I'm scared of Britain. The freaking um, Africans, uh, African armies is terrifying. In fact, what is their army like? Yeah, 849. And, but they're mobilized. Still, that is an insane number. 849. That's more than we can get. I'll uh, tell you that much. Granted, a lot of them probably are going to be in India. The British got so much land in Southeast Asia. That's ridiculous. At least Southeast Asia is very uh, unified. You know, I guess that's a good thing. And Brunei is a one little tiny little country. How sad. So, do you guys have like Hong Kong? No, yeah, Guangdong. Do you guys have Hong Kong? No, no. Macau is completely Portuguese. How are you, Hong Kong? Are you any any British? Nope, no British. Whatever. All right, so we can reform the Italian colonial army. What does it do exactly? Oh, wait, what, uh, uh, maximum allowed percentage of non-animist soldiers from Pops colonies from one to two. So we just get more soldiers in non-animist Africa, African provinces, I believe. Whatever. All right, let's go ahead. So dreadnoughts. Yeah, they need level. You know, let's go for naval base first, the uh, high sea battle fleet first, and then we can go for dreadnoughts. That'll be very important. All right. So we have just one more year for our truce to end. Oh, what a truce it shall be. I'm, I really hope we can dismantle their empire. I sincerely hope that we can dismantle your empire, France. It will be glorious. How, how many soldiers do you have now? Oh my god, Spain is at 12th place. They may become... I mean, okay, they're very far away, but they actually have rebuilt very well. Good job, Spain. You see, Spain, this is what happens when you follow the Italians. Okay. Ooh, Jacobins. Didn't expect to see them. It'd be very... Very sad to create the uh, Republic of Italy now, wouldn't it? No one wants a Republic of Italy. How many people are running away? Mm, a thousand. Even then, we are getting a lot of people in our country. How many people are in the U.S.? Uh, 18, 18 million? That's pretty good. Taiwan. Whoa, Taiwan's flag. That's a badass flag, Taiwan. That's like a phoenix? That's, that's like the coolest flag out of everyone. Jesus, Taiwan. You guys are lucky. Lucky, lucky, lucky. Look at all these craftsmen. What's the population of craftsmen? Eh, only 8%. Granted, we do have a ton of uh, the Africans. So they kind of, you know, dilute the population. Yes, put it down quickly. Do not allow them to revolt. Never allow it to happen. All right, and militancy is just about to reach level 3. Can we get a reform? It looks like no. Yes, we can, actually. All right, get an eight-hour workday. And the American-British Summit. Oh, no. So it looks like the British are allied with not only Russia, but the United States now. Eh, that's concerning. As long as no one allies with France, I am okay with that. All right, 27th of December. Oh, Pre-Dreadnoughts, we now get uh, battleships. But that requires level four or greater. Yep. So we can eventually we can build battleships. 
And that'll be good. That'll be real good. We just need a level four. So, yeah, cruisers are just faster. They're, they're the medium. They're the light ships, I guess. You know, light ships. I know you guys can see it, but there, there, those, there were air quotes in that. Just FYI. All right. And Brazil. Keep influencing them. Very odd for a non-American. Oh, my God. The Andean, the Andean Federation has taken back all of its cores. Oh, whoa, whoa. Did not expect you to be a thing, Andean uh, Federation. Also, Argentina is being a badass. Taking over Chile and shit. What about you, Colombia? No Grand Colombia? I guess not. Bitch. Mexico is, oddly enough, a republic. Did not expect that much. Usually they uh, become the empire of Mexico. All right, and there we have it. Brazil is now under our sphere. Just took a while, you know. All right, and put this down quickly. France is still very weak at only 73 brigades and still has a lot of war exhaustion. And there we have it. We can now build up to level 5. Let's go steam turbine ships. Actually, you know what? We don't need that yet. Um, go ahead and get bolt action rifles. Just get lower the combat width. You know, just in case. Just in case France decides to actually make their military strong again. It won't be, but just in case. I think we're going to stay at a two-year draft. You know, it's safe. Nice and safe to be at a two-year draft. And ooh, ooh, that cruiser hull, battleship, and dreadnought hull. All very nice. Granted, we have none of them, but whatever. Ooh, the, attend the fourth Olymp Olympics, of course. France, can we, yes, dismantle their nation? It'll be a while, and we will have to save scum the shit out of it. But it's okay with me. Let's try it. God, let's try it. And when we do inevitably dismantle their nation, I'm wondering, will they lose cores on the land we own or just on Savoy? Hmm. I'm pretty sure it'll just be Savoy, but I don't know. Anyways, let's continue on. Now, I don't know if I want to... If I save Scum, that's going to take forever. That, that'll take... Good long time. You guys, you guys will miss out on a year and a half. Like if it did it right now, that would suck. If it did it right now, but if it did it right now, uh, I think I might just end the episode then. I mean, I'm gonna have to end the episode. We're not gonna be able to dismantle. There we go. All right. Uh, this is where I'm gonna have to end this episode. Yes. So, hopefully, in the next episode, we can dismantle France. Uh, Brittany will pop out. They'll lose their core in all Sicily Lorraine and probably Savoy. I'm not sure about the lands we own right now. Probably not. But we will be the only ones in the war. Not even any of our, um, little satellites. We will not allow them into the war. And we will take all the land for ourselves. So thank you guys so much for watching. I've been Ilira 2, and I'll see you guys in the next episode. Goodbye.